Hello everybody, this is Dreamy Gamer back to kick off the semi-final of the Gracious Grass Tournament. We have two matches here which promise to be an exciting ones. As we see the Parasaurolophus taking on the Mutaburasaurus and Paris Tector going up against Fukuisaurus. Who will make it into the final and who will be coming up short? Let's find out as we kick off semi-final number one. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have a Parasaurolophus. Hang on, I need to move this across a little bit. There. Parasaurolophus is ever impressed in this tournament, and it's not really a surprise that it got this far. And I suspect it will probably win this matchup. But, in the blue corner, the little, the little herbivore that has surprised many, the Mataburosaurus. Mataburosaurus earning their place in the semi-final here, after an impressive win over the... Ulura Titan. <laughs> Older than in birds. Oh, this is going to be an interesting match because the Mudderborosaurus, its moves are all balanced, so its crit. It has the lowest crit in the game, which means its rock and paper moves do around similar damage. Oh, oops, I clicked rock. Okay, it didn't matter, the Mud was going to get a hit anyway. Ooh, and in comes a critical block. Good start from the Mutterborosaurus, but yeah, as you can see there, because the Parasaurolophus is defense type, the Mutterborosaurus is going to have to get off a fair few hits if it wants to win. But this is a very good start from the Mutt. A Venom Fang will definitely help chip away at the Parasaurolophus's HP. Stomp! Missed. Mutterborosaurus on top early on. Mm, but a crit from the para and the light recovery as well is going to change that. Along with defense boost as well. Going to make it even more difficult for the Mutterborosaurus to land some damage. And the venom from effect from the Venom Fang has also been cured. So Venom Fang's effect will not longer activate. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, I'd say ties favour the Mutterborosaurus, I'd say. But look at that, like the Mutterborosaurus are like two hits compared to the Parasaurolophus's one. And they're pretty much even. But the Parasaurolophus's hits pack more of a punch. And I think that has been the difference in this match so far. Because look, this is two hits from each of them. The Mutt getting, both getting their crits off as well. Ooh, but don't count the Mutterborosaurus out yet. Oh, hang on, I think I think it might have just won. Yeah, it's super impact, so it's going to do a lot of damage. And I think the Mutterborosaurus has just snatched this match. Well, the first round win anyway. Yeah, the Parasaurus is dead. Or even if it did survive, it would have died next turn. Oh, actually, no, no, it would have been a tie. So it could have been a draw that match. But the Mutterborosaurus getting off that crucial super impact to take a 1-0 lead. But it's still all to play for yet, so don't dare count the power out yet, as we've seen what it can do. And I'm sure we will see what it can do in round two. Okay, round two, can the Parasaurolophus recover? Or can the Mutterborosaurus pull off yet another win? This will definitely be an interesting round. Because as I said, said, if the Mutterborosaurus wins, then it, it'll be through to the final. But if the Parasaurolophus wins, then I'd probably say the Parasaurolophus will have the momentum going into the third round, which could be key. Yeah, ties definitely favour the Mutt more, because I do believe this Mutt is tie type. Ooh, the Mutterborosaurus getting an opening hit, and it's a critical block. Critical block can be an effective move against the Para. Well, it's effective against anybody because it removes their crit. But more so against the para because that means that the Mutterborosaurus will automatically be going for their crit. And they'll be getting it. And it's a Venom fan. This matchup starting the same way the first one did, with a Mutterborosaurus getting off two hits. But do not count the para out yet as one big hit can change everything. 
Oh, and here comes the big hit. It's a light recovery. No defense boost this time, though. Um, I would like to test out the difference between attack boost and uh, attack boost and defense boost and defense boost. I suspect there is a difference because defense boost and attack boost are just meant to be better variants of attack boost and defense boost, but they don't activate all the time. I was also told by one of you guys that defense boost burst activates when you beat the opponent's crit. I'm not so sure about attack boost though. I think attack boost might activate attack burst might activate when you get off a crit maybe. Anyway, back to this matchup and look at this from the mat. Parasaurolophus is in big trouble. Ooh, but a light recovery and a crit and a defense burst is definitely gonna help it. Oh, oh, I almost killed it. <laughs> Taken by surprise, I thought it was going to kill it. Oh, look at this, so the mutt can the mutt the Burrosaurus hang on and get that crucial hit. Well, it's not going to be super impact, so that means that the para will probably survive if the mutt gets a hit, and it doesn't. And despite being a tie type, the mutt the Burrosaurus didn't have enough health to survive that tie, and therefore, as a result, the Parasaurolophus evens the score. Oh, that was a good match. Very good matchup so far. The Parasaurolophus just snatching that draw from the mutt to deny it a 2-0 win. But, you know what that means? Once again, it all comes down to this next round. Alright, round three between these two grass eaters. Oh, I, I love doing tournaments. It's so fun. Um, to be, to be honest, though, I... I would like my, my my main tournaments. I like doing them on a yearly basis, but because I'm very close to 1,000 subscribers, I think it's a nice little treat to say thank you for all your lovely support that I do a tournament. And a lot of people were bummed out that they couldn't join the last tournament because we had an influx of peeps joining the Discord server just after the deadline had passed, so they couldn't join. But hopefully, everyone will get a chance to join this time, and I'm really I'm really looking forward to it. I, 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 as I said, I love doing tournaments. I just get so hyped, so exciting and fun. Um, but as I said, I would love... I keep, It will be staying a yearly thing after this. You know, this is only a one-off because, one, a lot of people wanted it, and two, I'm close to a thousand subscribers, so it's a good way to celebrate that fact. <laughs> and I didn't think I'd ever get close to a thousand subscribers, but apparently, people like watching me. Right, back to uh, this tournament, however, and the Mutterborosaurus, like it did in the first two matchups, opens up with the opening hit. But the Parasaurolophus gets off the metal wing, and a light recovery. Could that be the turning point? Whoosh, whoosh. The poison is healed as well. That's, that has that's definitely helped the power, that light recovery. Pretty decent move. Ooh. Oh, is this the end for the Mutterborosaurus? I think it might be. The Parasaurus showing her power and turning the screw. Yeah, that is commiserations to the Mutterborosaurus. The Parasaurolophus, as I just said, proving her power. And defeats the Mutterborosaurus to book her place in the final. Ooh, so we got Parasaurolophus in the final. And as I said, commiserations to the Mutterborosaurus. In a really good tournament campaign, it just couldn't get past that para's defence. It was the defensive resilience of that para that I think got it over the line. Okay, now on to our other semi-final matchup of this video and of the semi-final round, which sees Paris Tector going up against Fukuisaurus. Dino Slash! Okay, in the red corner we have... Well, you heard it from Zoe herself. We have... Ba -da -ba -da! Dino Tector version. One, probably the, the favourite for this tournament now. And, well, was one of the favourites at the start as well. No surprise to see it made 
see it get this far. However, in the blue corner, we have the little herbivore that could, the Fukui Source. Now, Fukui Source has been impressive in this tournament, defeating the Alpha Iguanodon in the first matchup before soundly defeating Camptosaurus in the last 16, and then getting past the. What was it? I forgot what it was now. It was. Um... Oh, what was it? What was it? I can't. That's right, I think it was, yeah, superpower. Oh, how could I forget? That was an epic match. No, oh, shame on me, shame on me. Before upsetting the odds and defeating the superpower. However, the, this matchup will prove that Paris Dino Tector is a step up. And that is a good start from Paris Tector, but the Emerald Garden has been triggered. Emerald Garden could be the way the way Fukuisaurus wins this match. And he gets it off. As I said, Emerald Garden was key to Fukuisaurus' win against Superpower. And if it wants to win this match, it's gonna be needed again. Although, not too much health yield. Romeo Rush coming in there to add extra damage. Herbivores together, strong. Carnival solo weak. That's a tie. No green impulse though. The Fukui Saurus getting another hit off. Fukui Saurus looking mightily strong so far. Open recording. Yeah, I, I I just have like moments of paranoia where I'm like open recording and I just double check. But don't worry, I am recording. And back to the matchup that Fukui Saurus has just scored a first round win. Paris Tacta not looking in the best of shape so far, a bit sluggish in that matchup. But the Fukui Saurus took full advantage there and has a crucial 1 0 lead. But don't count Paris Tacta out yet, as one win from her can change everything. Actually, if I'm honest, I'm hoping the Fukui Saurus wins because I don't want to see two powers in the final. I really hope Fukui Saurus can win this matchup, but we'll just have to see as we move on to round two. Okay then, round two between these two. Can the Fukui Saurus keep up the momentum or can Paris Tector find some form? I, I, as I say, I love doing this tournament. I actually have something planned for the next mini tournament, which I don't know when is going to happen, because, as I said, if, if I'm doing, when I do my big tournament, I won't be doing a mini tournament until said big tournament finishes, which will probably be at this, at this pace, probably New Year 2022. Uh, don't worry, the next mini tournament will either be a lightning one or an earth one since those are the two elements I haven't done yet. So you will have your say, just not now. <laughs> you just have to wait till the new year. Well, this this is most troublesome for the Paris Tactor. An egg attack is in imminent. Ooh. Eggy on your face. Well, the Paris Tector is definitely getting egg on her face here. She's getting a cream in. Of course, one ultimate leaf can change everything. That's a tie. Well, ties will probably favour Fukui now because it obviously has more health. Wait, is this game over? Has Paris Tector been bested? Oh, I think Paris Tector is going to hang on with a tiny, tiny sliver of health. <laughs> oh, Paris Tector, what's happened to you? You're getting a cream in. Okay, Paris Tector does get the hit back. The Fukui saw is finally taking a hit. Oh, it's gone! The Paris Tector's gone! Oh my goodness, the Fukui Saurus has swept it aside. The Paris Tector, what's happened to her? She's she took an absolute beating. The Fukui Saurus, however, 
advance into the final of the Gracious Grass Tournament to have a crack at the Parasaurolophus. Let's just let's just take a note of Fukuisaurus' hitless Super Parasaurolophus defeated, Paris Dinotector defeated. Can can it complete the set and defeat the OG Parasaurolophus? And well, it it didn't defeat the it didn't defeat Paris because well they they didn't face each other so that's. That uh, doesn't really count. But wow, Fukuisaurus, a Parasaurolophus killer. Taking on, well, a Parasaurolophus in the final. And yes, we will have a third place playoff between Mutterborosaurus and Paristector. Both of them bruised. The Paristector more bruised. So yeah, let's have a quick look at the bracket thing and we'll end the session. Oh, we've got an interesting final here because I believe this Fukuisaurus is Crisis type, not the Defense type one, and this Parasaurolophus is Defense type. And I feel like because the Fukuisaurus, again, it's kind of like the Mutaburosaurus, it doesn't have as much attack as a Para does, and the Para does have the defensive resilience and the recoveriness of light recovery. I feel like the Fukuisaurus will need to get quite a few hits off to ki just to kill the Para. Whereas the para may only need one or two, well, two or three hits, I should say. So yeah, an interesting final we got looking to look forward to. Again, I suspect I, I suspect the Parasaurolophus is going to win. But you know, I wouldn't count the Fukuisaurus out, and it has the Emerald Garden. It does, it can tank a hit. So we got kind of two heavyweight tanks, if we're perfectly honest. It's <laughs> going to be a long final, this, isn't it? And let's not forget the third place playoff between Mutterborosaurus and Parastector. Parastector, a bruised banana. That doesn't really make sense. Against the Mutterborosaurus, looking to finish their tournament on a high. Although the Mutterborosaurus has had a very impressive tournament. As, along with the Fukuisaurus. But only one can win the gracious grass crown. Will it be the Parasaurolophus or will it be the Fukuisaurus? You'll just have to stay tuned for next time. And until then, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the final. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.